Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am finally here with my hair care routine video for you guys. I'm personally really excited to share my whole hair care routine with you all. Not only my hair care routine, but also some hair care tips for you all, which I think is very, very important to know, especially for my hair journey. If you're following me for a long time now, you guys may know my hair was completely damaged. I'm gonna put few pictures right over here. If you are my subscriber from 2016, 17 or 18, you guys may know that my hair was so severely damaged due to few things which I will come to later. The video is going to be about how I transformed my hair. Now a quick disclaimer, I am not an expert. These are the products, they personally work for me. It may not work for you, but I am just here sharing my hair care routine with you all so that it may help you somewhere. Me personally, I have tried out so many different products out there in the market. I don't remember if there is any product that I haven't used for my hair. I have tried so many hair care products, so many shampoos, conditioners, masks, but nothing worked that much. I researched more and I researched about what people think and how they change their hair. Not only bloggers, like common people, how they change their hair and what product exactly worked for them. You know, I just don't want to waste my money purchasing 20 different products. So I came up with the conclusion to search the YouTube properly, to search the comment community. People are genuinely uh, sharing their personal experience, how they have changed their hair, what products they use. So from there, I gained some knowledge. From there, I gained some product knowledge at the same time. Um, there is so much to know about hair care, how you can care about your hair. A few people, they maybe wash their hair every single day, still their hair looks very beautiful. But for me, I do not, I cannot do that. My hair will just die. I can wash my hair only once a week and I'm gonna share that particular routine. All the steps that I'm gonna show you in this particular video, one day hair care routine. Like I wash my hair only once a week and this is what I do once a week, not every single day. First of all, let's start with my hair damaging journey, my history, how I damaged my hair. They color treated my hair at home. Again, few people, they color treat their hair at home and, and their hair is still very healthy. But for me, I completely damaged my hair. And I'm gonna put a picture right over here. When I was in college, my hair, like this portion of my hair was red and it was so damaged, it's so bad. But you know, that was a time when I was like, okay, this is cool, I'm gonna do it. So I color treated my hair maybe four or five times at home. Then I used to cut my hair on my own. I got split ends and it was worse. Did uh, straightening and smoothening for my hair. That was the time when I completely damaged my entire hair. Olaplex number three actually changed my hair completely. It's a brilliant product, I will say. For few people, they say that they haven't seen any change after using Olaplex 3, but for me, I have seen change within months. Who's a clarifying shampoo? I, I also have Olaplex shampoo and conditioner, but I don't think they work that well for me. Like the Olaplex shampoo, I, I don't think I am gonna repurchase Olaplex shampoo again. But they are good, you can try it out. Olaplex conditioner is definitely one of my favorite. It's so beautiful, so nourishing, so thick. I also use Sol de Janeiro a hair mask, their hair butter. Oh my god, it's chef's kiss. Such a beautiful hair mask. So I use that. I'm gonna show you guys step by step what I do. And I also use a clarifying shampoo at the same time, which is from Dr. Cerusel. If I need to braid my hair, I'm gonna use something like this, which is very like flexible and good enough but if I want to do a bun or something like that I will always use my silk scrunchie and nothing else to make sure when I am purchasing the clutcher I'm not talking about the price I'm talking about the quality when I purchase a clutcher I always make sure I always make sure to tie my hair with that sometimes it leads to any kind of breakage or not because because my I don't know my scalp is very sensitive and I cannot put any tight or heavy thing on my hair. So I try to purchase a clutcher which is like flexible enough, it's like not very hard and you actually should not use or tie your hair very hard. Um, again, it will lead to hair breakage at the same time. Other informations I'm gonna give you in this video that you're gonna see right now. So let's get started. 
Hi guys, so if you hear any outside noise, just uh, ignore that part. There is a function going on outside, so I can't do anything about that. So these are the products that I use. You can see so many Olaplex products, one clarifying shampoo, my leave-in conditioner, Sol de Janeiro product. I'm going to talk about them one by one. This is my fourth day here and as you guys can see, it's looking pretty dull and uh, this is what it looks like still my two here looks pretty good you know i can manage for two more days with this hair first i'm gonna shampoo my hair i am doing this just to remove all the buildups and everything from my hair and now to remove your buildup and to make sure that your scalp is completely clean you need to use a clarifying shampoo so i'm using this one from dr sirusil now i have tried so many clarifying shampoos before but they just make my hair so dry and frizzy but this particular shampoo is not like that it is so 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 gentle yet it is going to remove everything from your scalp this is i think my sixth time using this particular product and i love this product so much if you're looking for a good detoxifying clarifying shampoo then this one is for you it's it's beautiful for any type of hair so i'm just making sure that everything is clean before using my olaplex number no. three now olaplex number no. three is not any kind of hair mask it's a hair treatment that you need to use before you shampoo your hair and why i am using this after shampooing because i am making sure that my scalp is clean this is a pro tip that i want to mention uh, when your scalp is like completely clarified and clean after that if you use olaplex it will work like magic so i'm making sure that my scalp is clean with a clarifying shampoo and then i am going with my olaplex number no. three now as you guys can see my hair is like 80 percent uh, wet so this is what you need to apply Olaplex number no. 3. You need to wet your hair a little bit before applying it so that you can just apply it very easily. They say that you need to keep Olaplex number no. 3 for 10 minutes but I will say keep it for hours. You can even keep it overnight but I like to keep it for 2-3 to three hours maximum and it just gives me the best result. This is how Olaplex works for me. It may not work for you like this. You if it works for you in just 10 minutes then it's good for you but for me it is for two hours maximum and here i am just tying it with a clutcher and keeping it for two hours straight now after this you need to shampoo your hair but i'm not going to use any clarifying shampoo but this olaplex number no. four shampoo this is a very very gentle moisturizing shampoo so as i am shampooing my hair two times in a day i need to make sure that the second shampoo i'm using is gentle enough and also i have to condition my hair really well so i'm using olaplex number no. five which is their conditioner and mixing it with the sol de Janeiro hair treatment which is a very very nourishing hair uh, mask which is more like a hair butter you can say just feels so good my hair just eats this up <laughs> it sounds so wrong and i also use olaplex number no. seven sometimes before styling and if i am not styling my hair then i use olaplex number no. six which is their leave-in conditioner and i mix it with another leave-in conditioner which is from they this is their cactus flower leave-in conditioner and i also make sure to use a cotton uh, towel or any kind of cotton cloth t-shirt anything like that to to just rub my hair i do not use any towel material anything like that and I'm using my leave-in conditioners all over my hair and they just make my hair feel so soft once it gets dry. Also leave-in conditioner is a must-have. If you are skipping leave-in conditioners, I will say don't do it. Please use a leave-in conditioner. It just makes your hair so soft and it actually makes a difference. Now I'm taking my Dyson air wrap and just taking the hair dryer part and drying up my hair. Sometimes I just air dry my hair but today 
I was going out somewhere so I need to make it faster so I'm just air drying my hair with the Dyson air wrap and I always always use a white tooth comb to just detangle my hair really well you need to use a good brush invest in a good brush first because it's very very important what brush you're using that's it for this video this is my hair care routine I hope you guys really enjoyed this if you have any questions left definitely let me know in the comments below this is my hair care routine this works for me really well and i hope you guys enjoyed it love you guys so much thank you so much for watching